What we're going to talk about in this lesson is what's called Kramer's Rule. This is where we can use determinants when solving systems of equations. Now remember up until this point we've used elimination and we've used substitution in order to solve systems of equations. And now we're going to use matrices and specifically Kramer's Rule. So what happens is we are given 4x minus 5y equals 39. And then in our second equation, we're given 3x plus 8y equals a negative 6. And what we're going to do with this problem is we are going to use Kramer's rule to solve it. Now, the first thing that we have to do is we have to find out what the coefficient matrix is. Different textbooks use a different variable or a different letter to denote this matrix, but most textbooks, as you go on to pre-calculus uh, and go a little bit further, maybe in college algebra, are going to use this to denote the coefficient matrix. And the coefficient matrix is exactly what it says, and it's just those numbers that are in front of the variables. And so this is what we refer to as the coefficient matrix. Let's move this down a little bit. Coefficient matrix. So, this right here is our coefficient matrix. In addition to the coefficient matrix, we're also going to have, because we've got two variables, we've got an x variable and a y variable that we need to solve for in here, we are going to have two other matrices. The first one is what we're going to call is the D sub x matrix. And what happens with that is that in place of the 4 and 3 in our coefficient matrix, what we're going to replace them with is the 39 and negative 6 because that's what our equations equal. So 39, negative 6, negative 5, and a positive 8. The y values stay the same, just the x values that are changing. And then we also have what we refer to as the d sub y matrix. And that in that case, what we're going to do is the 4 and 3 are going to stay the same like they did in the coefficient matrix, but what changes is this 5 and that 8 is going to be replaced with that 39 and that negative 6. So now this is going to be 39 and negative 6. And what the mathematician Kramer found out with his extensive use of matrices is that you can use the determinants of these different matrices that we've just come up with right here in order to solve for the x variable and to solve for the y variable. Now the x variable is going to be the determinant. Remember, the symbol for determinant is similar to an absolute value symbol. The determinant of the x matrix, the d sub x matrix, divided by the determinant of the coefficient matrix. And to figure out what y is going to be, that's going to give us the determinant of the y matrix divided by the determinant of the coefficient matrix. So since we're running out of space on this page, I'm going to continue this on to the next page. So we're going to Move this a little bit, continue this on to the next page, the next slide, and I'll add in it. So we're going to try to figure out what x equals first, since we'll just move work in alphabetical order. And remember, x in the numerator had that d sub x matrix, uh, which was 39, negative 5, negative 6, and 8. And we need to figure out the determinant of that. And then in the denominator, we've got the coefficient matrix, which is 4, negative 5, 3, 8. And the determinant of this matrix, remember, is this number times that number. 
So in the numerator, we've got 39 times 8 minus the negative 6 times the negative 5. So times negative 6 times negative 5. And in the denominator, what we're going to have is 4 times 8 minus 3 times negative 5. And in the numerator, what we're going to have is 312 minus 30. And in the denominator here, what we're going to have is 32 plus 15. And since I'm running out of space, I'm just going to work this down here. And what happens is the denominator turns into 47. In the numerator, what we've got is we've got 312 minus 30, which is 282. And when we reduce this, we get 6. And that is what x equals, in this case, 6. But don't forget that we still have to figure out what y is going to be. And y is going to equal, in the denominator, the nice thing is, is we already figured out what the coefficient matrix is. And since that's the same for both of these, the determinant of that coefficient matrix is going to be 47 in this denominator as well. In the numerator, what we're going to have is instead of the 39, negative 6, we are going to have 4, 3. And then the 39 and negative 6 go over here. So 4 times a negative 6 is a negative 24. And we're going to minus 39 times 3, which is uh, 117. And we are going to do that by, keep dividing that by 47. So we get a negative 24 minus 117, which is a negative 141. And we're going to divide that by 47, which gives us a negative 3. And that is what y equals, a negative 3. And since we're solving for an ordered pair, we're solving for the intersection point, we're going to rewrite our answer as 6, negative 3. And that's our answer to this problem.